Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Be Resplendent episode. The title of today's encouragement is to stand. Mm. Just simply stand. Yes. Stand yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Not physically, but if you can, we understand that you would do so. Mm -hmm. If you cannot, we understand. <laughs> but we're talking about a stance spiritually that will encourage your, your innermost being, that it will flow through the way you speak, the way you think, the way you conduct yourself. Mm. There's a stance that will determine who you really are. Amen. That who you are in Christ. Amen. That your stance will control how you react to the most horrific or terrible or ridiculous situations that may come your way. Yeah. But we encourage you to stand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't know how long you've been going through it. Is it something new? But as in, in this Christian walk, we all are going to face something sometime or another. But we encourage you to stand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would encourage every single one that's listening to this podcast and watching this YouTube video to stand. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Amen. 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 This wonderful gospel that we hear, we have this opportunity, Pastor Natalie and I, to, to, to preach, is all about God's love. Yeah. But we also want to know that God's love leads you to repentance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it helps you to stand. Yes. Have you ever heard this, this quote? And I'll be, allow me to read it. It says, don't downgrade your dream just to match your reality. Upgrade your conviction to match your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 7, verses 9 to 10 says this. Now, I am glad I sent you, not because it hurts you, but because the pain caused you to repent and change your ways. It was the kind of sorrow God wants his people to have. So you were not harmed by us in any way. Verse 10. For the kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin yes. and results in salvation. There's no regret that for there's no regret for that kind of sorrow. But worldly sorrow which lacks repentance, results in spiritual death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. 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 This here is telling you that in this book to the Corinthians, if you look back in the first nine verses, you know, there, there was a note, there was a letter that was sent to the people to correct them mm -hmm. of how they were doing things. I don't know the details of everything, but it was it was a harsh word to out of love. To, to say, hey, you're not standing the way you have been taught. Mm -hmm. You're reacting wrong. You are um, conducting things in an ungodly manner. Maybe it was a little correction. Yeah. And they wanted them to stand. Stand, ladies and gentlemen, stand. Mm -hmm. You can be laying down in your bed, and God wants you to stand. Now, that verse really says a lot, as I was mentioning, it, it, it caused a correction and it was something that um, the Corinthians needed at that time and it was like an ouch kind of thing and now he's saying you know I'm, I'm glad I sent it to you but I did not aim to hurt you um, I know it caused some pain and some of you our listeners and our viewers can say wow I've been in those kind of situations and they were not pleasant because, you know, it, it caused me to search myself and to check myself and to examine myself. And it says here, but because the pain caused you to repent and change your ways, that is so much God. 
God intends, ladies and gentlemen, when, when something comes our way, it, it's, it's, it's not, you know, people just want to hear something wishy-washy. Oh, you're always good. I always want to pat you on the back. I love you. I love you. I love you. I understand that. And we do, but, need, that and, and we do yeah. need that. You're right. But there's time and a place that when you have to stand. And we need correction, too. We need that. Yeah. We, to stand in order to, get, to keep on standing, yeah. we cannot just think that our ways are better than God's ways. But God's ways are bigger and better than our ways. Yes. And it says here, it, 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 it is a kind of sorrow that God wants people to have. He literally wants every one of our viewers and all of our listeners to have this. So you are not harmed in any way. To lead to repentance. But it experience. yes, God wants you to ex ex experience the kind of sorrow that leads you away from that sin that you're battling. Mm -hmm. Leads you to that sin that you know that's been knocking at your door every other day, every day, every moment. And hey, why don't you do weary it? Weary, and you're like, yeah. oh, hear this? Per They're gonna tempt yeah, me again. They're yeah. gonna or some whatever it is. And God wants you to stand. Yeah. And maybe not react the way that you used to. Not maybe just just stand. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just got to simply say no. Yeah. Resist the devil, and he will flee. And that's the thing. Also, is that perhaps you know more than one person has already said. You know what you're doing in love they, they've sh shared with you you know that's that's really hurting you and you know th that's not going to please god as correct, well so correct. why don't you consider what you're doing you know sometimes people will god will send these people to do that not because to hurt us like how this is very clear mm -hmm. but god uses this to correct us you know we, god doesn't want us to be such a super sensitive people that mm -hmm. we're not able to discern the difference of when god is speaking and when just man is speaking to us you know there there, there is a difference when someone's just trying right. to intentionally hurt you that's the kind of pain that leads to regret and sorrow. Correct. See, God doesn't do that. God will not do something that will cause us so much pain that leads to sorrow that we never turn away from from the hurt and pain that we maybe have inflicted on ourselves or someone else hurt us, but because we never didn't listen to God in that moment. It only caused more pain. So we have to take these moments with God and say, God, what is it that you're really saying here? Now, in in, in talking about standing, okay, this was this is like the beginning part of this message. But we also want to bring out this part of the message. In um, uh, let's just go over a few scripture verses yes. here. Um, how are you able to stand? I want to I want to say this first. In Ephesians six eleven, it says. Put on all of God's yes. armor. That's right. So that you will be able to stand firm against all of the strategies of the devil. See, we're not even able to discern the difference of when something is evil that's mm -hmm. coming against us. Sometimes we don't even see that maybe right away. Or when God is actually leading us in something, you see? Correct. But when we put the full armor on... Where we start to see things differently. See, the Bible talks about the belt of truth. When we remain in the truth, and who's the truth? Jesus Christ. When we remain in the Word of God, the Word of God is truth. See, God then discern causes us to discern and recognize this is actually from the pit of hell. That's right. Then you begin to say, you know what? This is not. Uh, that person intentionally coming against me. No, this very thing is actually from the pit of hell Correct. to hurt me. This this thing that has come against me. And what do I need to do? The Bible says, and when you put on the armor, you're standing firm. You're able to stand firm. And That's then right. it talks about in uh, 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 1 Corinthians 16, 13, it says, Be on guard. Stand firm in your faith. Be be courageous, be strong. Yes. We cannot do these things without faith in, in God. God. You see, right. we last week talked about in our episode about relationship with God. Yes. See, relationship with God we talked about comes with by faith and by faith and with faith. And how do you how do you stay in relationship with God? By faith. Correct. So how can you stand firm? How can you stay on guard? How can you remain courageous and strong? It's all by faith. Correct. It's not by sight. It's by faith. And so the thing that's important for us to recognize in Luke 6, 48, it talks yes. about it's like a person building a house who digs deep 
and it and lays the foundation on a solid rock. And let's let's listen to this because <laughs> who is our solid rock that enables us to stand firm? It is Jesus Christ himself Absolutely. what he did at the cross for us and when we stand on his word yes and we stand on the promises of god we are able to stand that's right we are able to stand so that because of the house being dug deep Yes. And because of the foundation being laid upon from the very word of God and the yes. promises of God, when yes. the flood waters rise and break against that house, see, these things come to try to break us, try to cause us not to believe. That's you right. see, and and but God says if you're standing on his word, it says no matter what. It stands firm, firm because why? It's well built. That's right. It's not because of our own understanding. It's not in our own strength that we're standing. It's because of our stance upon the word That's right. of God. And, and, and you know what? Having done all, we can stand firm. It also talks mm. about that in Ephesians 6. You know, because yeah. when you put the full armor on, and then you and you're in a warfare you're in a battle for a while that is true. and the storm is raging against you to the point that sometimes it's it's hard to see so like when we started out with a word of a correction mm -hmm. so you're in this storm for a while and different god uses different things to try to encourage us a word of encour encouragement a word of correction just a word in due season and then you say, oh another and, word and of then, correction and, and yet we yet when you're in the storm See, if you're not careful and you start to lean on your own, own understanding, you don't receive the word of encouragement. You don't receive that word of correction because now, see, the whole, um, uh, what the enemy was trying to do was to wear us out. Correct. To wear us down. And that's why when, we're built, when we build our faith mm -hmm. on Jesus Christ alone, God says we can stand and do everything and still stand. What Pastor Natalie just said in regarding to is our thoughts is that, you know, the, the terminology I can use, I mean, it's just us ourselves. Um, it could be hell itself. Just yeah. wants us to think that our thoughts are always right. Mm -hmm. What I think, my perception, yeah. that's it. It's gold. Yeah. It's above what even God says. I don't care what this person says or that person, what the book says. That. And we have to be so careful. Yes. Because in a storm, you think about yourself, you're focused, you're fighting it. As you know, in the, in the, all, the scripture we just read it, that the storms come, meaning that things just keep coming like waves. Here comes this, here comes that. And it's a tough situation. Oh, more pain, more this. It doesn't matter what's going on. But the Lord understands. But he still wants you to stand in your faith Faith. Not in your Faith. thoughts. That's right. Because our thoughts can lead us astray. Our thoughts can cause us to think very differently than what God himself has told us as a promise that he will lead us out. See, this is the thing about trust and relationship with God. You get to this place of, I'm going to stand and I'm going to trust God in this storm. And that no matter what comes, I'm going to still Trust him. I'm not going to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, we just talked about in the midst of a storm, God wants you to stand. And in the midst of a storm, you may even get another correction. And sometimes we tend to make, try to have our thoughts, you know, like what we think, that's it. And Pastor Natalie so eloquently through the power of the Holy Spirit explained just a little bit about that topic and how we have to be careful. The Bible says in, in Proverbs 15 verse 32 it says if you reject discipline you only harm yourself but if you listen to correction you grow in understanding mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you jesus so how can you keep standing mm. when correction, correction comes, comes it only is coming to make us a better people it only it's comes not to hurt you to to help us to grow and go deeper with the lord so That's that right. when the storms come when these things come we have a disciplined life yes we have a life that is surrendered to the lord 
And when you're surrendered to the Lord and you're listening to God, mm -hmm. you will be so in tune to listening to Him that you won't even harm yourself. Right. When and someone then. has suggested something, you won't even say no. Mm -hmm. And l later down mm -hmm. in life, it can harm you. And the Holy Spirit is saying, don't reject mm -hmm. discipline, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You can only harm yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. In other words, God understands that. You know what? Maybe you have even rejected His discipline. But right now, this very day that you're listening to this podcast and you are watching this YouTube, guess what? You're saying, Lord, I receive you. I receive what you're saying to me. I will not just say, anything goes because i'm going through the tough situation i'm just gonna lower my convictions i'm, I'm not gonna stand the way you mm -hmm. want me to stand mm -hmm. i'm talking about spiritually in my faith and in how it will it will reflect how i speak and how mm -hmm. i do things and how i react and what i shout what i say listen to what proverbs 13 verse 20 says walk with the wise and become wise when i read when i read that i said wow there might be some wise people on earth, but I'm going to stick to the Word of God. I'm going to listen to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to spend that time praying to God and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But yet, find some godly people. People that do not just yes you to death, but will literally lovingly correct you. It says, walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffer harm. Mm -hmm. God loves us, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. But then, I love what you said in Ephesians 6.13. It says, therefore... Put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. So when the storm is past, you want to hear God say, Well done, mm -hmm. thou good and faithful servant. You see? Because there's something about timing yes. with God. There's something about trusting him in the process. And there's something about saying, you know what? I don't see it. Wow. I don't I don't know how it's going to turn out. Right. But I know that you have me, Lord. Yes. You know? And so this is why when you walk with the wise, then when you have the day of trouble, God will bring these people around you. That will encourage you in the word of truth. You know what? You That's might, you what might, God you might even wants find yourself that when you say walk with the wise, I love how you said it, to put on a full armor of God. It's so many different things that it, you could be in, in your home, you could be in your car, wherever you're at. And now, thank God, we have ear pods and there's, you know, there's iPads, there's so many things out there, wireless, everything. Maybe just want to turn on worship. Amen. Maybe you used to Absolutely. do that five, ten years ago, and this, this couple, you know, you've just been going through a situation, yeah. but you have not said, I have the time. I'm going through this storm. God wants me to stand, but it's hard to do so. We have some tools. Maybe I'm going to just put on some godly worship mm -hmm. and I'm going to spend the next 60 minutes to 90 minutes just worshiping God. Oh, I bless you, Lord. I don't know what you said. You don't know what's going to happen. But God, I know you are in control. And because you are con in control, I'm going to bless you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be afraid to sh praise you and to worship you and to give you all the glory and all the honor. And yes, you might be driving down and people may sing that they oh that person's really jamming or something but oh you are having that precious time with your lord and savior god i love you and i praise you i bless your name god i worship Changes you i give it it certainly does and it helps you to stand and not to lower your convictions because what you're praising the king of kings and the lord of lords you to look to him that's right mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. in psalm 26 verse 12 it says now I stand on solid ground, and I will publicly praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Let's read it again. <laughs> Psalm 26, <laughs> verse 12. Now, now I stand, stand on solid ground, ground and, and I, I will publicly praise the, the Lord. Lord. I challenge you, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Just worship Him. Yes. Just bless His name yes. and give Him all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Yes. So how can how can we do this? We have to stay 
in the word of God, yes. in relationship with God. Yes. And we must be open to when God sends correction for our own good so that we stay in relationship with God, so that nothing's getting in the way of our relationship with God. That's so that right. then when, we, when we're in the storm, and we now, like we just read in Psalm twenty six twelve, I stand, stand on solid ground. Meaning that you're not lowering your convictions. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lower in the one in who I believe. That's right. I'm not gonna make an excuse that I should stop believing. Correct. I'm not gonna let all these other voices and the circumstance dictate. The mm. way I believe in the Lord. That's right. Because God is my rock. He's yes. my solid ground. Yes. And all other ground is seeking sand. See? So when the storm rages and I go through it, my foundation is built on the rock, Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. And I will come out of the storm greater because I stood firm. I stood. I stand. Yes. I stand on the word of God and I publicly mm. praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Let's ask the Holy Spirit because that's the only way. Holy Spirit, we need your power to stand the way you want us to stand. Holy Spirit, yes. we're asking you for power and your strength. Yes. We admit we need you, Holy Spirit, yes. to not lower our convictions. Mm. Help us, Holy Spirit. And strengthen us. And strengthen us yes. to publicly praise you Hallelujah. and worship you yes. and give you all the glory yes. and all the praise and all the honor that Lord that that, that just takes away it takes away just the, just the discord and, and, and the non-focus but Lord when we praise you and our focus is upon you it gives us a clear vision of knowing that you are in control yes thank you Father God I pray you help every viewer every listener to stand Mm. And yes. every time they think about this word, Lord, to stand, they said, oh, I will not lower my convictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, help me to stand mm. with the full armor of God. And because I'm standing on holy ground and solid ground, I will publicly praise you. Yes. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus Christ, we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 I have this song in my heart. Yes. On Christ the solid Solid rock I I stand. All of the ground ground is sinking sand. sand. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 (laughs) Woo. Hallelujah. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for listening to these podcasts. Thank you for even listening to our Respondency Life podcast. You would be blessed by it if you love a godly conversation, Mm -hmm. like you have have a cup of coffee and sit down. You just want to hear something godly, encouraging. Listen to the Respondency Life podcast and continue to on this YouTube. Subscribe, share it. We yes. want people to be blessed. A lot of people love to see something and be encouraged or watch on TV. Now they have smart TVs. They can just put it up <laughs> on their television. Let them and yes. share it with them for them to be encouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Yes. And thank you for those of you that stay connected with us, with all our social media, yes. communicating with us. We have felt honored yes. to be a part of your lives. Thank you for being a part also of Resplendency. Yes. You know, I want to thank those of you that, that uh, read my blogs on Let's Take a letstakeamoment.com. Um, and also thank you for following me at examine moments what a blessing right. to have you guys we've been so blessed <laughs> recently at people that would come to our sunday sessions and to our prayer meetings people from out of town recently just showed up and it was such a blessing what a blessed time we had and from people from other parts of here in the state of florida so we encourage you our number one service is our 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 prayer meeting our prayer meeting our number one meeting is our prayer meeting prayer meeting is calling upon the name of the lord that's like how Daniel, he's just kept on praying. We love to pray. And we'd love for you guys to join us in the name of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, please, for the glory of God, and for only for the glory of God, we want you to do this. Stand, Stand out, out and, and shine. shine. God bless you. God bless you.